Let's move on now. They're sleek, they're shiny, and despite the cost for many, many people across the globe, they are like crack to an addict. Tonight, the hype, the craze, the expense of this season's new must-have iPhone. We're actually talking tonight about two different phones, the 5S and the 5C. For iPhone devotees, it's like Christmas in September. That not only means new phones, but also new software and new data plans. Lisette Martinez is live at a Valley Best Buy store, actually broadcasting from her iPhone tonight with more on iPhone mania. Lisette, you're on FaceTime. How, how's it working for you? Well, so far, so good. Don't jinx me, Mark. We're actually at the Best Buy at Tempe Marketplace, as you mentioned, using our iPhone to FaceTime from this location. Now, everyone is anticipating the release of the new iPhones tomorrow. There's new colors and other fun features, but is it innovative enough? We're actually at the Samsung station because they had a lot more options than the iPhone station did. And just to give you a look at the competition, what we're talking about, this is the iPhone 5, which we're already familiar with, and this is a Galaxy S4. And just in sheer size alone you can definitely see a big difference there now the experts weigh in on just how competitive the smartphone business has become you've seen the ads you've heard the news apple's two new iphones out tomorrow but not everyone is impressed it's nice i mean i, I it's okay i can live without it technology experts say apple has failed to innovate and live up to the standards you've expected for years you've got new colors you've got the home screen which re responds to your fingerprint which means that you don't have to type in your password all the time and you have the new and improved camera jefferson graham says smartphones like the samsung galaxy are growing in popularity. The Galaxy S4 has a 5-inch screen. The iPhone has a 4-inch screen. So the resolution is twice as good. The Galaxy S4 has a 13-megapixel camera, and the iPhone, the new iPhone, has a 5, I'm sorry, an 8-megapixel camera. The iPhone has maintained dominance in the U.S. with just 40% of the market share, and the new price point says this marketing expert will position them as bigger competitors worldwide. I think it's more of a global point of view that it gets them into a lot more third world countries where your phone is your computer. Roger Herney says Apple's marketing strategy from packaging to the simplified style sets the iPhone apart. While every iPhone is exactly alike, no two are alike because the experience you have with it is a unique to you. But Graham says Apple needs to make big changes if they want to remain competitive. Yes, they will sell more copies of this phone than they've ever sold before. But if there's so much innovation going on at Android now, Android could overtake the iPhone in the United States as well. All right. Uh, it was sort of like talking to Godzilla on one of those old Japanese horror films with the lip flap, the lip delay, where it go. <laughs> that was Lisette. So I'm going to read... <laughs> I'm going to read what she was going to say at the end. We're having Apple, we're having some problems here. They also released a new upgrade that's now available to Apple users, but it has not come without its share of glitches. On a more positive note, experts say the new fingerprint technology, which replaces the need for a password, is impressive and could be a good selling point.